And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Ionia Victor. So these other three decks uh, were decks that we just played three days ago, but they all looked really good. We went 4-1 or 5-0 with all three of them. This one we went 4-1 with, um, and this is a good control list. You know, like the control is a real uh, popular archetype that we don't see too many people playing right now. So for those of y'all that like playing uh, good old classic control list, hopefully y'all um, enjoy this deck and enjoy this video. I do, if you missed the, the video from three days ago, I recommend checking it out. Again, Ionia Victor, where, like I said, we went 4-1 with it. Uh, this time, uh, you know, we'll see how we do. So it's it has a lot of good early removal. Like, we're, we're focusing on Death Ray, being able to kill all the aggressive stuff. Um, this is going to be a real important card with these different aggro decks. One mana deal one. We got triple Nopify, triple Deny. Gotta love that. Um... I, the only change, I did make one change to the deck. We're putting in two Static Shocks in here to give us just a little bit more card draw. And we took out one Homecoming because uh, we're not a great Homecoming deck. So we took out one Homecoming and one Thermogenic Beam to fit in the two Static Shocks to give us a little bit more card draw. Because with the Death Ray, sometimes we can uh, run out of cards a little bit. Um, but I remember like everything kind of worked out really well. Like Scales of the Dragon, a card not, not very many people play, but it worked out very well with like the Dragon's Protection and just being a really good blocker. Um, yeah, it's just, it, and then, you know, you have your different champions. So besides Victor, we're going to have our created cards with both Victor and Ballistic Bot. Um, they're going to create spells for us to play. The Ignitions and the Hexcore upgrades are one mana spells, which are awesome for Eye of the Dragon to get the two spells each round, because you can have like the one, one spell for your created card, and then you play like a Death Ray also, and now you got your Draggling. Um, so that, that part's pretty cool. But then the different uh, top end champions instead of just playing like victor plus heimer and you just have three heimers i i really like this how we split it up between heimer Lee Sin, and vi for the top end where you know different um each game is kind of different and so different scenarios you maybe need a different champion and so we have uh, we have these different champions um depending on what the scenario is that can um flip the game in our favor man i'm sorry i have the hiccups <laughs> Okay, all right, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and play some Ionia Victor. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, we're playing against Zed, so it looks like we're playing against Elusives. This is going to be a good matchup for our early removal. Oh, my man. <laughs> I was going to say that I was looking for Death Ray. I think we found it. I think we found Death Ray. I think we found some death rays and of course i'm doing this before they can have anything to recall that um especially like a navori conspirator turn two could pick that back up and draw them a card i know them drawing cards hang on buzzball hey the spirit gives to those who listen let's move Okay. That's fine. This would be great to find like a deep meditation or something like that, like to get a little bit extra card draw in here since we're going to play or since we have so many cheap spells. I'm gonna wait till this next round, so now I'll play the two spells never see us this round. Actually, I'll just pass. Okay, so it looks like they got a, quite a bit of protection over there. The dark beckons. Shh, quietly. Let's move. Ready. 
steady yourself. No! No! This should give me the two dragglings for next round. Alright, and so we got two troll chants out of their hands. The cards that would, you know, uh, help protect those. But, of course, with the troll chants, they're pretty nice. They, you know, we don't get to actually kill either of those. What is gained when you return malevolence? That is very surprising. I, f I feel like they're supposed to pick up Shadow Assassin and draw more cards. Which is just the problem for me right now is I, I need card draw. <laughs> you know, like, the death rays are good, but I need card draw. But now we're, we're going to have a lot more death rays in the deck. Why do they not pick up Shadow Assassin? Like, the Shadow Assassins are what what's owning me. Like, right? Because if they don't have Shadow Assassin, they don't have, like, two extra cards. And we're doing great. So they put it on one that is now not elusive, thankfully. Our best draw in our deck is, you know, like a draw three. We could certainly use a lot, you know, certainly use some card draw here. What is gained when you return malevolence? They cannot hide. That was a good top deck for them. We need a removal spell. Or... Yes, for deep meditation. Alright, let's just do this first. Alright, so we, we should be good now. That was a great draw. Deep Meditation. That was perfect. Okay, we got some Challenger also. Really? Well, I guess I could die. We should still have like the another MK3 like on top. 
Yeah. Genius in action. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Yes, of course. Behold. <sighs> All right, Victor's got tough. All right, so should be good, I think. They're out of they're out of buff. They had the two Omen Hawks. They did the they did the two buff. Breathe in, breathe out. Another eye of the dragon. Okay, cool. That will do. One step closer. Want to know? All right, Thresh Nessus. We have lots of things that do one damage, which is good against all of these, uh, all these units that they're pulling out. Okay, you're definitely gone. What do I think of Eye of the Dragon and Ballistic Bot in this matchup? Do I just keep them both? Okay, keep them both. Okay, I like the Static Shock. That can help out against... Uh, against, like, Blighted Caretaker. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they have Vile Feast in hand. For how that was, you know, like, stopping and giving them an option and they didn't play anything. I'm definitely thinking that they have Vile Feast. That's my guess. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. System upgrade. I am not going to just kill. I know I could kill the one one to try to make a draggling next round, but then that turns on Glimpse Beyond. I'm going to protect against Glimpse Beyond and not cast. I mean, I guess I could just respond to Glimpse Beyond with the other Death Ray. But it also turns on... Um, oh, well, I guess they can just do that. Let's say it turns on Black Spear as the other card. Can you improve perfection? Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. I was planning on playing the other eye of the dragon. Man, um, I think I just pass, right? I think that's a pass. Next round. All right, so this is going to be a Concussive Palm on the Thresh. Trying to kill that thing. How am I going to deal with this Thresh, though? I'm not sure how like I'm going to deal with this Thresh eventually. Yeah, because these each time these draglings die it does help level up Thresh. It's kinda hoping for Challenger on Victor. Black Spear over there. They're out of mana. Join me if you want to live. Is that three? The dragon. 
dragon lives. Safety disengage. Rise, metal brethren. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna if this is really working out like I was hoping it would. Okay, maybe this this just didn't work out like I was hoping it would. I hope they don't have another Thresh. Or, like, I don't mind them casting, like, Ride and Negation. So it's going to be the last Vile Feast. I've played three Vile Feasts, one Black Spear. Bot will trade with Nasus. Should, right? Because I don't think they've slayed that many things, have they? Oh, I guess it starts at 2 2, though. So 7 7? Gross. Okay. So now it's going to be a 9 3. Okay, so this didn't work out. So, nothing worked out. I didn't, I didn't play this well. Yeah, this game's hard. <laughs> this game is hard. Is that elusive? We have the MK2 on top. We know our top card's MK2. Okay. So hopefully this works, because they didn't just glimpse beyond again in, in response. I hope that's a thrash. God, I hope that's a thrash. No, of course it's an Asus. Of course it's an Asus. All playing Eye of the Dragon right here does is allow them to challenge Eye of the Dragon and kill Eye of the Dragon. I guess that's fine, though. So it's really just all about atrocity, right? If they have atrocity, I lose. If they don't, we win. Yeah, I mean, it's just all about atrocity. We need to draw deny. A 
what is that card? That's got to be like... So they have two spells? That spell and this spell that they could cast right now? They've already played all three. So that's got to be like another Ride of Negation right there, right? Or no, I guess... What could that spell be? It can't be Vile Feast. Life and death it's only... It's either Glimpse Beyond or... Ride of Negation are the only options. Okay, so let's see if we can draw top deck deny. Deny. Ah, I drew the death ray. That's kind of the problem with putting the. Come on, hopefully it works. Okay, no atrocity. Awesome. That was the problem with playing the death ray was we put it back on top. All right, two and zero. Oh. No atrocity. Ooh. These things can get very big. My removal is for stuff that's very small. I'm like always kind of wishing I had progress day. I don't know. So these two cards are both really good against like the dragons. At least the concussive palm is great against the dragons. Lee Sin and progress carry. You keep Lee Sin and progress day. You keep progress day. Okay. So I'm going with, yeah, so we're keeping both these because Dresbo, the person whose deck this is, says that we can keep these two cards. Well, we got really punished for keeping Progress Day. And they had turn one Zoe. Wow, we got really punished both ways. Not only did we draw another Progress Day, but then we also don't have any removal for Zoe. Ugh. Well. This looks really bad. But, it's not over. Had a, a really good start. Lots of creative cards. Can you improve perfection? Static shock's good. This works. No. Nope. Alright, Whimsy can be a great draw against the big dragons. What a necessarily mind blocking. I don't want to block. Okay, so I'm thinking that like blocking would let would make it really difficult for them to kill Heimer this round, but I guess I don't have like the spells to really reward me for having Heimer out there. Blocking does make Lee worse. Master yourself. Master your enemy. If I had like a lot of spells that like if I block then Heimer and then the next round I would untap and like play a good amount of spells and like really reward me for having that with the Heimer, uh, we'd go that route. But I'm going to go with the Lee Sin because the Lee Sin can challenge Zoe. Yeah, we won the Thresh match. My opponent did not have Atrocity and, and my Victor got elusive and killed them in two shots with the Victor.
I think they were looking for the stun card. They chose something really fast. Hopefully they didn't find it. I'm hoping it's like the T1 challenger. Okay. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. My Prepare yourself. Wow, that's awesome. Gotta love taking that thing out. Fire and fury burn in me. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. The dragon it's only spell number four for Lee Sin. Cool. Victor can create some new cards for Lee Sin. Which could be nice. Man, it'd be good to play another champion, but... I also kind of want to whimsy this Eclipse Dragon, like they attack him with Eclipse Dragon. I guess I am at 11. To whimsy it. I mean, if I pass, they may pass also. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Genius in action. No materials, no improvements. So how do we beat a really soul? All right, so I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, we figured out how to beat Aurelian Soul. I sure hope they play Aurelian Soul. The Homecoming is a great draw. No, they didn't play Aurelian Soul. Come on. So here's the thing. We want to... I want to play another spell to level up Lee Sin. But... I don't want to play any of these spells. Also, because I want to have all these available for... Right, like, I, I want... Like, all these have, like, a certain thing that they're doing. I guess Whimsy doesn't have a certain thing it's doing. And let's see, we have five mana left still with Whimsy. But... <laughs> just Patience throw away a Whimsy for nothing? Ingenious. I'm just going to go with the pass. I just don't want to... I don't want to waste... Like, I need these two cards for Aurelian Soul. So I just don't want to waste them. It just didn't really make that much sense to just throw away. Yeah, yeah, it just didn't really make much sense to do anything else. And just the more turns with Victor, the better. So I just ended up passing. I'm doing this just first to just try to turn on the barrier for Lee Sin. Alright, so now barrier is turned on. It's not a great chance that they can't play anything, but if that is the case, if they can't play anything, then we just destroy their Aurelian Soul, right? Like, so last round they didn't have the mana, this round they do have mana. So we don't get to burn the Aurelian Soul from them. They have nine cards in hand now. Okay, well that'll still do. They give up. GG's. Alright, same matchup. Let's buckle down again. 
Not an easy one for a control deck. I mean, Eye of the Dragon doesn't really do anything here, does it? I kind of want to keep the Whimsy, because of how good it is against the dragons. I'm going to send the rest back. I'm thinking the 5 mana and 7 mana dragon. How does this happen again? That's just drawing both progress days immediately. How does that happen again? Humanity is obsolete. I would not like to block. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Okay, so I'm glad that they're just they just got blue sentinels because that you know, not the fastest thing at killing me. We can defeat blue sentinels. It's easier for me to just take the take that damage as opposed to the the three twos. So I didn't play. False is meaningless. Didn't play that other thing because I was planning on like Lee Sin plus, and then you know play two spells with Lee Sin. So I saved that spell mana. Sunburst. Well, that's not a card you see very often, but that's an amazing card. Let's get Scout. Scout. Quick attack. Do not see Sunburst very often. Halfway with Subversible. Yeah, it just wasn't... Okay, yeah, so you, you just save Lee Sin until Aurelian Soul. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that card. That's for sure. Mine tough. Lifesteal? Lifesteal's not bad. Glad I kept that whimsy. Alright, now Spell Shield, so they can't hush. Let's get Spell Shield. Spell Shield is a brilliant design. What do we get? Aw, oh, Fury. Oh, that would have been good to have last round. Gotta expect a fight spell. A great mind must never idle. Vi stands for violence. So that's seven. So I think like these subpersonals are gonna have to finish the, the job out for me. I mean it could just be sharp sight. Like sharp sight would be great, you know, if they just go sharp sight block. But it feels like it's probably hush, right? I don't know if I even go for it. I could just see passing. No. I don't know if I'm supposed to make them use their hush. Ooh, love the twin disciplines. Okay, we actually drew some protection. That's good. Another day guarding the walls. Some tough. Regen. Thanks. 
Certainly feels like it's hush, doesn't it? Oh, well, I guess... Oh, I should have done this. I don't know why I was thinking... I guess the hush would put, put this to five health. I was thinking it would just go back to four. I should have done that. We gotta get Hush out of their hand anyway, but it worked out. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. Eight, nine. System Looks like they did have Hush. Yeah, hoping Subpercible can finish this out. Double Subpercible. They've killed three of our champs, so we have... Um, I'm not going to risk shooting that and then they fight spell. So we have two victors and a Heimer left. There's a victor. Had one more mana. Could blow up sp spell shield with thermogenic beam, but I'll just save it. Down to four, and we just got rid of an Aurelian Soul. So there's that. I bear a message from. Oh, hey, what's that? Alright, so they still have the expensive Celestial card that Aurelian Soul created. Alright, back to Fury. I'm just gonna kill some blockers. Beyond. How many single combats have they used? Like, we've played against so many of these decks today. Like, I don't remember how many single combats have been this game or a different game. Oh, 
Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I was killing on their part with, I don't know, if they were supposed to, what they were supposed to do before with, like, how they, with their fight spells. Alright, so we got double deny. They tried doing the good game thing with Judgment. <laughs> they tried that. It is a good game. Go ahead, try another single combat. I dare it. Alright, 4-0. Oh. Ionia Victor. Classic control, still good. Still. Well, let's let's play it again. Looks like this is the popular deck of the day. All right, time to settle back in. Get the popcorn ready. Let's uh, start over. Now, again, I the dragon just doesn't seem to be that important. This is only, like, Static Shock's only good if they have Zoe right away. I certainly liked last round how they had the Blue Sentinel. It's probably a really bad attack. Okay. Kind of like a sharp sight test, um, you know, because I don't want to see the the three two challenger, right? Like I don't want that card. All right, so this is as bad as it could be. I'm not gonna whimsy that, right? No, we can't whimsy that. Yeah, this is this is the nightmare start for me for sure. Ready for the fight. I serve my people with pride. I don't know, it, it depends. I don't know if my opponents I don't know which deck's favored in this matchup. I don't know. What's the fire? If they have this kind of hand, I don't like my chances. But I don't think they always have this kind of hand. It's not going to be a, a hundred percent. It's going to be, you know, like we're not going to winning three in a row. Definitely felt really tough. Um, I don't have a good line here. Yeah, Dresbo, the person that made the deck, says it's a it's a pretty even matchup, and so it looks like we got the first two, but they're going to get this one. They really don't have a good line. I guess that's the best thing I got. You're under our protection. Worth using a homecoming already? Well, again, we're going to try to have Lee Sin take down the Zoe. Because even though we're playing three Death Rays, we can't seem to get him in this matchup against Zoe. Think how good, like, a Death Ray would have been here. Yeah, I mulligan basically everything, but think how good a Death Ray would have been of, like, kill the Zoe, get the Death Ray Part 2 for the Dragon Guard Lieutenant. This is... This kind of stuff is how De Death Ray can really look good. Perfect. 
Objection. Safety is engaged. All right, stop taking death ray. I found a home among the dragon guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. Let's do it over there. You are brave, young one. Careful, Cyclops. The dragon protects. I just I don't think I the dragon really does anything, right? I the dragon just helps helps them out, right? Like I just I don't think I even have to play it. It only cost one mana to play the Eye of the Dragon, right? Like, I could have played it right there and got the ignition, but I don't even want a Draggling. So, I made sure to play both of those to turn on turn on Deep Meditation. My lands need me. Prepare yourself! If any of these are worth the thermogenic beam. Choose the right time to strike. I guess the, this thermogenic beam kills the Shivana through sharp sight. I of course have the whimsy for these other things. The whimsies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Death Ray does de does dilute your draws, um, and so that's why you really want to pair Death Ray with card draw, because you you end up with less you end up with less cards than you normally do, and more mana than you normally do, because the cards that it does have are um, like they don't cost very much mana. So that combination, you really want to pair it with card draw. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Come on, fight. Fight spell on this thing, please. On the Eye of the Dragon. Okay, so I think we could pretty safely say that's probably Concerted Strike. Well, I guess it could. it's going to be a fight spell. One way or the other. See, now we don't need Death Ray too much anymore. Always these stun cards. Okay. At least it's not a really in soul, that's the good news. Bad news is, you know, star shaping. Card I can whimsy. Gotta get rid of the spell shield first, though. You will be scoured from this land. I will not hold back. Hmm. 
Okay. I like getting another Nopify for potential single combats. Fire and fury burn in me. But we need it. We are going to need card draw. Like, we want... My best draw is, again, like the 8 mana draw 3 probably right now. Because I need to just, like, waste a spell to give Lee Sin Challenger. And do Lee Sin stuff. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, Victor would be really nice. Or the bot that those can give me the spells each round. So like death rate Patience MK2 is, is the best spell for me to waste, but then it does put the MK3 back on top and makes it likely that I draw the MK3. Could also simply see not you. Could simply just do this. No! I smell fear. Why are they blocked? I guess that's why they blocked. I was gonna challenge the Radiant Guardian and then first. Yeah, I was gonna challenge that first and have the Suppress Bowl afterwards. Yeah, so, okay, you would have just gone Vi, Vi Challenge, the Radiant Guardian, the attack with everything else. Yes, Deep Meditation's awesome, because uh, we need cards. So that's a spell, they can get more spells. Great draw. Conflict is all in the mind. Unfortunately, we didn't really get the best things. Got these nupifies. Wow. They're done. And some of these are really in soul players. They don't like playing the long game, which is weird because they're playing really in soul. That's twice that our opponent kind of conceded when I don't know if we're really actually winning. <laughs> but there we go. Control's back. A 5 0 with control. Um. Yeah, like Ionia Victor, I mean, you can't can't complain, right? Like we won all of our games, five and oh. So I put the two static shocks as we talked about at the beginning, I put those in here and they didn't look that good, to be honest. I, you know, we replaced a homecoming and a thermogenic beam and both for those matchups, for that Aurelian Soul matchup, I would much rather have the homecoming and the thermogenic beams, right? Because the thermogenic beams can kill like your mid-range dragons, like your Shivanas and stuff like that a lot better. And then the homecomings are really clutch against the fight spells and the super expensive dragons in the late game. So we did not get rewarded for that change, but it was nice having some card draw because uh, we need it. Um, again, I could definitely see just going to one of those and then playing the third deep meditation, uh, especially if, if you're planning on playing those Aurelian Soul matchups a bunch because you do need those cards. We saw how it could run out. Some of those, though, we were just like holding on to our progress days and didn't have time for them. Um, but. I don't know. So that's that's something to think about. Like maybe just play another thermogenic beam, another homecoming instead of static shocks. But static shocks help out in other matchups. But homecoming can be like really good against Nasus. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You think homecoming should be a two of? It can be a two of instead of static shock. 
And then, of course, you could take out, if you don't want to play Static Shock, you can take that out and then just play a third Deep Meditation. Like, that's an option there also, um, getting rid of that. So those are those are like your flex slots, right? Like, we have like these two, we have these two flex slots with the Static Shocks. They don't have to be in there. Like, it could just be Homecoming, Thermo, and Call It A Day. Um, yeah, instead of two deep, two progress day, you're right. It's it three deep, one progress day. That's just a good change. Yeah, that's that's let's change that. There we go. Let's definitely change that because progress day is just so expensive. Um, deep meditation, not not as much, but you you need like those spells all the time. So yeah, that's a good change. Let's make that change for sure. And then, you know, your static shocks. You could play a second homecoming or second thermo or third thermo instead of the two static shocks. Yeah, whimsy is great against the dragons. Um, Whimsy was looking looked real good in those games that we were playing. It is great there in the, against those dragons. Um, I think this is just an underrated card. This Whimsy, like we know how good Hush is. Now it doesn't hit the champions. That's the thing. Is like a lot of times, like you know, your opponent has a Zoe or Shivana, and you're looking at your Whimsy, and you're like, man, I wish this could do something about that, or like an Azir. But it is great against those mid range dragons. That's for sure. Even some, you know, there's other things that we wanted to silence, like. Um, Greenglade duo and stuff like that that Whimsy did great against as well. All right, but there we go. That's going to be Ionia Victor, a good control deck. So we're nine and one. And you know, if, we, if you uh, again three days ago we played this deck. Go back watch that video if you want to see some more games with this deck. Um, and we went we went uh, four one with that video. Went five zero today. So nine and one in ten games with uh, Ionia PNZ control. That's pretty awesome. All right, well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed this control deck. I know there's a lot of people who love control out there. Hopefully, y'all uh, enjoyed this one. Leave those comments. Let me know. And uh, feel free to try it out yourself and let me know how it goes for you. But that's going to be it here for Ionia Victor. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.